Hey guys, Death Letter Magic here with a quick video about something you uh, probably didn't hear about. And uh, it's kind of aggravating, but I also kind of see the other side on this one. It's still pretty much a dick move, though, the way they went about this, and I'll explain it. So uh, there's a very popular app uh, on at least the Android store. Uh, it's actually not on iOS because nobody in their right mind would design an app for that garbage platform run by that garbage company. And if you own an iPhone, you're part of the problem. Get a roll phone and stop supporting one of the worst companies on the planet. So the app is called Delver Lens, but uh, the app title in the app store, according to archive.org, because it's since been removed, is Magic the Gathering, parenthesis, MTG, parenthesis, Card Scanner Delver Lens. And uh, what it does is it recognizes 46,078 cards, which is more than I thought existed, actually, but they also include tokens and emblems. And by recognizes, they mean with the camera. So you just kind of hover the camera over the card and it's like, oh yeah, that card. Then it can show you prices from TCG Player and Magic Card Market uh, with currency conversions. You can sell and buy cards in Card Kingdom with it. TCG Player 2, they also have like, like a database where they'll um, store all your cards uh, into a collection with like search features and everything. Um, you can also check Oracle Text offline. So if you have an older version of the card that has updated text, um, that'll let you check it. You can even brew and manage decks in the app. I mean, they went hard on this thing. And they also let you uh, export to uh, other platforms. It can export to uh, Archidect, Cardsphere, Deckbox, Deckstats, Echo MTG, MTG Goldfish, MTG Stand, uh, My Card Inventory, Puka Trade. How is that still around? Quiet Speculation and Tapped Out. So I've never used it, but from what I heard, uh, there are some small errors with like the limitations of the technology and how it scans things. Let's just say it sounds like things go better if you take it out of the sleeve and put it under proper lighting with a white sheet of paper behind the card. Then you're going to get optimum conditions. Anything else? Maybe not. So the app had like about 3,000 just ratings, let alone users, and it was about a 4.6 average. So pretty well liked, pretty functional app. So I bet you can guess what just happened. Uh, let me go over to Twitter for their official announcement. Uh, Delver is currently unavailable on the Google Play Store US due to a copyright claim from Wizards of the Coast referring to the use of Magic the Gathering in the app's name. I have already contacted the Wizards lawyer uh, and Google about submitting a new version without the copyrighted text, but I haven't received a response from either yet. This may take a few days slash weeks to resolve. If you are using the Google Play Store in another company, the app is still available. Thank you all for your patience as I deal with this. So, okay, this app has been out for how long? I mean, come on, this had to have been on Wizards Radar. This can't be the first they're hearing about it was like today or whatever. The other thing is, yeah, while I could see them taking issue with like the lead on the title being Magic the Gathering, when maybe arguably legally or morally logically they could have gotten away with Delver Lens Scanner for Magic the Gathering. Um, he did have in his description, Magic the Gathering is copyrighted by Wizards of the Coast. Delver Lens is not produced, endorsed, uh, supported, or affiliated with Wizards of the Coast. But that's way down lower. That's not like in the title because it wouldn't fit. Currently, there are a ton of apps that use MTG because, I don't know, plausible deniability, you could say that it doesn't mean Magic the Gathering. Some of them use, you know, blatantly the color pie, but they drew it themselves with their own vector images, so it could just be any five colors. Uh, I can tell you right now, there's one that uses the Planeswalker logo. That's a no-no. Can't do that. So, like, why are they not taken out yet? Uh, one of them uses the M logo, which I believe is, is still trademarked. But uh, that's the thing. Okay, this is a trademark issue, and it sounds like they use the DMCA copyright takedown to take it down. I mean, I usually know about this stuff, but I actually don't know the answer to this. Is it still a copyright issue, or did they just use the DMCA illegally because it's a trademark issue? I mean, sh should they have sent a cease and desist because it's a trademark? Yeah, probably. Should they have filed a trademark complaint? Probably. Is that what they did and they're just simplifying the report on Twitter? Maybe. So not a lot of details with this other than we can just say Wizards decided to take this down because of the title. And yet they don't seem to be enforcing this terrifically consistently. And this is like a huge like deck building card buying platform. I mean, it, it helps people. It it doesn't make you say, oh, I got all these cards. It's a disorganized mess. You know what? I give up. I'm going to play a different game or I'm going to sell all my cards or I'm going to build less decks. Or I want to go play at this tournament or at F&M and spend money, but, uh, you know, buy sleeves, all that stuff. But, uh, oh, my collection is just such a mess. I got 5,000 bulk cards here and they're over there and I don't have anything to organize them. Uh, I'm just not going to build the deck. I'm going to go play a different game. 
I mean, that's got to be some people. I don't think it's that widespread, but some people got to be thinking that way. I mean, some people could get all pissed off when they buy a card that it turns out later they find they already had in their collection. And that's a big turnoff for buying stuff in the future. But then the alternative is, well, before I build the deck, I just have to look through, you know, a couple thousand cards. Yeah, I think that this app definitely encourages purchases for Wizards of the Coast. Now, the weird thing is the app was reported last time I saw on archive.org to have... Uh, in-app purchases. I thought it would just be ad-supported or they'd get like a little referral fee or something from like, I don't know, some card seller. I don't know if it has like some pro features to unlock or something, but it says that the microtransactions are between $2.99 and $30. So, okay. I mean, maybe it's like you buy more space in the card database if you go over like a thousand. I don't know. That, that's just what I would do if I designed it, but obviously I can't Go look at it now, because it uh, is taken down in my country. I have multiple ways around that. It would just take long, and I'm busy today. So if you have a better description of like how it works and your experience with it, uh, feel free to leave it down below. That would be much appreciated. So Wizards could have gotten all butthurt about the fact that this is making money, even though it's also making them money. And I mean, spoiler alert, I'm making money off of Magic the Gathering. I show ads on this channel. But I'm also giving them a virtually unthinkable volume of free advertising for every single product that they come out with. I show it off, I give the prices, I hype it up by opening on camera. I mean, they know. They know. This is why even though I, I think, well, I, I have this on good information that a lot of people at the company like me, uh, a lot of people at the company don't like me. And at any time, they can just revoke the access to basically the card art. And just say, oh, we're taking down your entire channel and you can no longer use the name Magic the Gathering in any of your videos or any card art. They could just, they could say that to anybody at any time. But here is what would happen if they did that to literally anyone of any size and it, and it got wide and people heard about it. If they basically say, well, we're taking it down because of copyright, but we're not enforcing the other 900 channels because um, we just don't like you. 99% of the people who are about to start a magic channel are going to say, you know what, if they could just take it down at any time, if they decide they don't like one little thing I say, forget it. So that would be the end of it. Um, whatever channel they got rid of, mine especially, no more free advertising. All those people would, would oh, like 5-10% of the people would just quit the game. They would just be like, if, if you're going to ban my favorite creator, that's the last draw, forget it. They would never hear the end of it on social media. It would be three years from now. They'd be like, well, you banned death, so you can still go straight to hell. You and your garbage card game and your hyper-controlling of the narrative and all this shit. Let, let me make sure that backfires for you spectacularly. Then existing channels would probably try to ramp down and, like, make a gaming slash cooking channel or something. Because they'd be like, oh, they could take my channel down at any time, too. Oh, man, like, six months ago, I said something bad about Wizards. What if they see that? Oh, they could, I better start back-deleting stuff, and I better do nothing but kiss Wizards' ass. Oh, but if I do that, and I'm never negative about anything they ever do or announce or product they bring out, or rule change or ban decision or how they treat people or all the cheating at their tournaments, if I ever say anything about that again, oh, no, but if I don't say anything about that... All my viewers are going to be like, why don't you ever say anything bad about wizards? You know what? I can't continue to make this channel either. And then for every one person they banned, 10 more would just give up. They'd cover a different game. They'd, they'd go wider. They'd do what uh, the Magic Historian did initially, which is like, oh, I'm just going to cover different TCGs. I'm just going to expand to all of them. And honestly, that's what uh, Jeremy from MTG Headquarters did. He changed it to Unsleeved Media. And then he uh, got more traction with the cord ring. That's basically what happened. But he did cover like Final Fantasy, I think DBZ, you know, and that's cool. I mean, that, that probably retained the majority of his uh, viewers. So if they want to scare off every single creator that isn't willing to constantly be a propaganda mouth for them, they will not take this little backdoor emergency, you know, nuclear option and ban somebody due to some, some copyright usage bullshit. And that's why they haven't taken that action against my channel yet, because they know that I would ensure that it's the biggest PR black eye they have ever gotten. And plus, I'm pretty much abandoning this channel in like a year anyway if my gaming channel takes off. I mean, I'll upload to this like once a week when something actually happens. You know, I just won't have to count on this for, um, for my um, actual income. Which would actually be nice. I mean, I'll be honest, I upload a lot of filler videos. <laughs> Speaking of that, can something happen this week? I'm glad this is a news story, but my gosh. The advertising kind of steps up in November for Christmas shopping, and I kind of want a piece of that. You know what? Screw it. If you have a video idea, anything, it's probably terrible. I don't care. Post it down in the comment section. Any video that you want to see me make. Keep in mind I've made like over 3,500 videos. It's a pretty good chance I already made the video. Oh, no, you might want to turn notifications on on my main channel because I'm going to make the biggest, craziest video ever next week. Most expensive giveaway I've ever done on the channel by far. 
Potentially. I don't know. I gave away laptop ones. That's probably close. Face reveal. I mean, guest stars if I can get them. It's going to be huge. So you're going to want to go back to my main channel and turn on notifications. Trust me. So, you know, to get back to the point I was coming around to, um, Wizards doesn't usually take down stuff that is kind of using, borrowing, you know, their, their images and stuff. And they do have a statement on their website about like when you can use their logos and how, and you know, what you have to say and if you can use the card art. And it's pretty generous, but it has like that last little escape clause where they're like, and we can pull the table out from under you whenever we want. But generally feel free to use it in the meantime. So I think they didn't like the phrasing of the title. I think they didn't like the full title, Magic the Gathering, being used. And the fact that you lead with that would imply to some people who don't read the disclaimer, which is like everybody, that this is officially made by Wizards. Even though it says Sorting Robotics Inc. right under it. So the real question is, why didn't they just send an email? I mean, email or like message on social media just saying, hey, can you shorten it to MTG? Can you put for Magic the Gathering, you know, and reverse the order of the title? Can you just take it out completely? Um, and then they're like, oh, okay, well, obviously if I say no, you're just going to file a takedown. So yes, I will do that. Boom, problem solved. The app doesn't get removed. When it's already been like DMCA'd or whatever, that's a whole thing to get it back up. So he even said something to the effect of like uh, upload like a second version of it without the name. And he's trying to like get clearance to do that. Well, newsflash, you have clearance to do that. If you're not using it in the title and then you just for, for shot search optimization, put in the description, this finds cards for magic, the gathering, and then immediately in parentheses, not associated with wizards of the coast or blah, 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 whatever. I mean, it's kind of still up to Wizards of the Coast, but at that point, he could take them to court and win, because that's ridiculous. That's like saying, like, I can't say the word McDonald's in my video. No, I can reference the company McDonald's, I can mention it by name. I mean, did, did you just think from that statement that I now own McDonald's and that I'm speaking on behalf of them? No. You can use the names as long as you make it blatantly clear that you're not that person and that you're not re representing them in any way. So if he does that, he's in the clear. I wouldn't wait for clearance. Here's the problem. If you upload a second version, you're starting from zero. You get no positive associations. There goes all your ratings. There goes all your download stats. It looks like some tiny little no-name app. And it's going to be a lot harder for people to find it without Magic the Gathering in the title. Now, I think that Google knows that they have an association between the term MTG and Magic the Gathering. So, like, if I go to the App Store right now and type in Magic the Gathering, it's a little different than if I just type in MTG. Uh, mostly just puts Mana Strike and a couple other, like, Wizards of the Coast, well, I guess, properties, licensed things, whatever, first. But you still get, like, Mana Box MTG. That's the title. So I think they know that one thing equals the other and to start showing people that. And also they know that people who searched for the term Magic the Gathering downloaded those apps. So there's an association there enforced by humans and, and human activity and, like, bulk, you know, follow the masses AI kind of stuff. So it's not like the app would be dead and he'd never get another download of it and be completely invisible, but like starting from zero is pretty hard if you don't like pay for placement and advertising. But I mean, if an app's been taken down with DMCA, I don't even know what the process is to put it back up on the store. Like to, to tell Google, oh, I removed it. It's clean now. It's good. I, I think you might even need like the permission of the original complainer. I think that's why he's trying to contact Wizards lawyers right now, which is like a whole back and forth thing. But uh, I will say if they say, no, we want your app gone, screw you. There is no way to make this okay. Put the, the letters MTG in the title. Put, you know, Wizards of the Coast not associated in any way first in the description and re-upload it as a new app. If they take legal action against you, it would be expensive, but you could fight it. And it would be so unbelievably frivolous and fake and not within the law that he could get his legal fees. But it would be like a two-year fight. He'd have to front the money up, up front or get a lawyer that'll work for free until the settlement is reached. It just turns into a whole thing that most people aren't willing to do. Now, me... Um, I've been known to be a very vengeful, motivated person when people do me wrong. I don't know if you've noticed that or heard some stories, most of which are absolutely true, by the way. I've been known to hold a bit of a grudge, but I, I like to, 
I like to make things even again when, when I've been wronged. So, I mean, if I absolutely knew I was right about something, I would pursue it. I don't care what it took. Now, to go back, I mean, if they just decided, you know what, we don't like Des, and they said, you know, nuke my channel, nuke every single video he used our name and our card artwork. There's nothing I could do about that. It's up to them. That's why, you know. Social pressure and backlash from the community is the only thing holding that back right now, but... You know, some giant company throwing their weight around just thinking that, like, you know, some little person wouldn't do something about it? Nah, I would. And I think he should. I mean, if they don't want to play ball, if they just want to say, no, we want your app to go away, well, that's that they they that's not up to them. Like, they can't say that. They can't do that. It's that simple. As long as he does it within the letter of the law, exactly, specifically perfect, it's not up to them. And there's nothing they can do other than file fake you know, takedowns and then pay for it two days or two, two years later. God, I wish it was two days. So hopefully the situation gets resolved, but I think that if they just wanted him to take that name out of the title, that they would have told him that. I think that the fact that, that they filed like a takedown means that there's something more here and that they just want his app to go away for some reason. Or, and this is what Apple constantly does, by the way, they're coming out with their own version of this. They're going to add card identification to, you know, the companion app or whatever they call it these days. And so a couple months before they launch that, they remove all their competition illegally. Apple has done that constantly. They've kicked people off of their, their whole platform, you know, the iOS app store, and then like a month later come out with their own app that does the same thing. And according to their terms, because they own the app store, there's nothing they can do. They say they can remove your app for literally any reason. Now see, here's the thing. Commercial entities can't make laws. People think that terms of use are like solid. It's a contract or whatever it says that that's what goes. They could say we can delete your app for any reason. And if they went and said we deleted your app because you're black and we don't like black people. Guess what? They can't hide behind their terms of service because that's against federal law. Now, if they said we deleted your app because it contains puppies and we're more cat people. Clearly they've gone crazy, but that would be legal. That would be within the terms because it doesn't violate an actual law. Sounds like something they would do. So if he just re-ups a version of it with, you know, MTG in the title and that's it, and those three letters could mean anything and aren't trademarked, well then, guess what? Doesn't use any of their art? Nothing. But the thing is, though, at the end of the day, I am worried about him using the Oracle text, which is somewhat copyrighted, and it's in the app. It works offline with no data connection. And uh, maybe some kind of depiction of their art. I mean, I, I don't use the app. I Maybe it doesn't have any art. I mean, why would it? But like, if, if that's the case, he's screwed. If they wanted to go after that, then, well, all we could do is make a bunch of noise and call them assholes, which is what everybody does on social media anytime wizards post anything. I'm actually not sure the backlash could get worse at this point. They have ruined standard. I just tried playing five games today. Just turn three scoot swarm, turn three scoot swarm, turn three scoot swarm, mill deck where I couldn't get anything off, and then turn three scoot swarm. Uh, fifth game, mind you, with mutate on top of it. They're burning the company to the ground at this point. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing, them included. So, uh, yeah, this is a bit of a mess. I mean, if they want to go to war and he stripped down the app to remove every reference, everything copyrighted and all that, and just had a card name pop up, they might be able to go off of just the copyright on the card name, to be honest. I mean, I don't think they file a copyright for every card that exists, but they could just do it on, like, five of them. And then just say, oh, here's five violations. So it, it may come down to how dickish does Wizards want to be about this. Or it may just be they're being unbelievably rude, handling this unprofessionally, and going way too far just to get him to remove the phrase Magic the Gathering from the app title. Which does kind of sound like something they would do. But, I mean, when it comes to community content stuff that's well-liked by thousands, if not a million people, historically they've known to tread lightly because they do not need another group of people just angrily pissed off at them and ranting at them for another two weeks because that's what they're going to get. So I'd suggest they either make a statement on this, say all we wanted him to do was, you know, do the title and that's it. Don't worry, it's coming back. Or I don't know. I, I don't know. It would be nice, but they never talk about anything ever. Anything controversial, they just hide uh, hide from it. Anything legal, they, they don't mention it. Pretty annoying, so hopefully we see a resolution soon. Uh, this really could kind of go either way, depending upon, you know, how they want to play it. But I wish I had better news. I mean, if anybody had this app on your phone, I assume they can't remote kill it. I think it still functions. They just can't update it, but I'm not 100% sure. 
But that's not a durable strategy for the future, especially when he adds, you know, new sets to the uh, app as they come out. So this could be bad for anybody who had their whole collection held in that app and didn't export it or whatever. I guess do it now if it still opens. But yeah, like I said, hopefully we get a good resolution. The app uh, is restored within a week or two. That would be nice. So I'll be uh, following this story if there's any updates. And uh, hey, if the app developer has any like additional details, any updates, want to do an interview, anything, you know, anything about this, hit me up. My email is on the About tab on this channel. Or at least my main channel. Maybe not this channel. I'm not sure. I don't remember if I bothered to put it there. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you guys next video.